Hey everyone, it's Menz here. Uh, this is going to be a video kind of going over the new uh, D-Day marathon and also uh, basically the tank that comes along with it, the main prize, the M10 uh, RBFM. So this marathon's basically starting uh, very soon here and you'll be able to play it across any server on PC and unlike um, other marathons, there's a couple... I guess uh, caveats as to how you complete missions and so on and so forth but since it's you know a mid-tier tank it's not as hard as like say a tier 8 marathon and so on and so forth but anyway let's get uh let's get into things here my voice is 90 percent back so eh, it's kind of iffy but in any event if you log in uh currently in world of tanks you can kind of click on this in your garage the d-day event uh, with the m10 here and kind of getting into things uh quick little overview of the missions then I'm gonna go into the tank and pop into a battle and see kind of what happens in any event though there's two different ways to do this marathon so the first uh, the main direction uh, basically you have to play historical uh, tanks tier 4 to tier 7 to be able to complete to be able to complete this type of mission uh, so if you have a lot of these tanks great good for you um, and more or less it seems like this is a little bit easier um, meanwhile the uh, auxiliary uh, direction you can complete in tier 7 or up to tier 10 tanks um, so more or less you don't have a specific tank that you're locked into playing to complete it but you're gonna most likely spend a little bit more time to complete missions like this as you can see like the first day literally it's just playing one battle and day 13 as you can see it's damaged 15 vehicles or 20 vehicles as you kind of uh, complete these missions you'll see there's an experience bonus and also a crew experience bonus that it'll last during this marathon plus as it says three extra days after it uh, so as you kind of complete these missions, you're going to get more and more bonuses for all of your battles. And eventually, you know, the last little prize, as, or not the last little prize, but uh, more or less, you get a garage slot. The M10 comes with the 10th mission, but the 14th uh, kind of mission, you get a unique style for it. So it's a very achievable marathon for most players. It's literally just log on and play. Each day, a mission opens up, so you can't complete it right away. You do have to play. From my understanding, uh, even if, say, you start on the fifth day, you'll be able to complete day one, day two, day three, but basically they unlock each day, so you can't rush through and kind of finish it right away. In any event, what's the tank here? Uh, the M10. I haven't popped into a battle yet. It'll be my first battle when I play this. Generally speaking, though, no, this is a tank that most people kind of already know about. If you pop into the comparison here against the M10 Wolverine uh, that's in the tech tree, you'll notice a lot of uh, similarities. They, I, it looks really similar, uh, although, you know, the unique style looks pretty nice on it. Basically, what it boils down to, not to drone on and all the little stats and everything, the M10 uh, RBFM. You can kind of see it has a little bit higher DPM uh, compared to the standard Wolverine, a little bit better accuracy, a little bit worse aiming time, a little bit ben better penetration on the standard round 130 versus 128. If you look at uh, the premium round for the HVAT round, 170 millimeters of pen on the premium uh, M10, while the standard M10 Wolverine has you know 177 so it's kind of a wash between the two excuse me and as you can see this is just 100 percent crew no equipment it has paint on the m10 and of course the premium one has paint on it with the unique style moving further down identical basically armor hit points the mobility is where the standard m10 has a little bit of an edge mobility wise and by little it's actually pretty significant um, so you gain a little bit better gun on the premium, but the mobility is actually a pretty, uh, pretty big difference. Identical camouflage, identical V range. The signal range is different on the premium M10. It's actually, oh, that's actually a huge difference, but 
you know, radio range isn't the most important thing in the world. So the tank you're getting, it's, you know, it's a nod basically to D-Day. It's a very fun, easy marathon to do. And honestly, you know, most people should be able to get this pretty darn easy. It's, you know, it's a free premium tank basically uh, just for playing, you know, a handful of battles a day. The last, you know, mission 14, even after you get the tank, is still achievable if you play like, say, an hour or so. So let's hop into a battle and see how this thing works. Um, you know, having played the M10 Wolverine a lot in the tech tree, I really like that as a mid-tier tank. You know, it has a turret, it's easy to play, even though it's a TD, most people can pick it up very easily. Uh, the lower mobility on this, you do have to be careful, uh, since even though the M10 is very fairly mobile, you know, you still can get yourself in trouble. You only have 360 HP. So let me move my webcam over here. You only have 360 HP. So you're going to die really fast. And since you are a little slower than the tech tree version, you got to play this a little bit more, I guess, passive. Uh, just because of that sole reason there. All right. So let's get into things here. I'm probably going to play over on this side. <laughs> I'm really scared here because the past few... The past few replays, uh, or not replays, but I guess reviews I've done, uh, since, you know, I don't have a ton of time right now with just getting married, and honestly, we've, I've been pretty sick. Uh, I, I try to do my, my reviews in one go. <laughs> I haven't had very good luck with my battles. Um, fortunately, though, you know, this tank, it's pretty solid. Like, even though it's just mid-tier premium, it's one that, you know, it has the, I guess, the playability factor to where it's not like some quirky tank that most people, you know, who are going to pick it up are not going to know how to play. It's, it's pretty darn easy, you know, with the turret, the mobility, albeit it's lower than the standard M10. It's it's not anything like super like handicappy. So in any event. Let's see how this works out, and hopefully I don't get bishoped, because <laughs> Artie really wrecks these tanks. <laughs> Someone asked me if this is good or not. I can't talk about the tank yet. <laughs> the NDA has not lifted. <laughs> Alright. I'm always iffy on this map just because... <laughs> you pick the wrong side and either your team gets clobbered or you just get clobbered and you're all alone. So far it looks like the enemy team is mostly piling on that other side though. It looks like our team's running away from that BZ-38. That's strange. <laughs> One good thing, too, like this is different than the marathon, different than this tank in general, is, you know, with Wargaming, they've announced that it's in super test, so it's not guaranteed, but very strong chance of it happening in some way, shape, or form. Uh, tier 1 through Tier 6, they're looking to buff the HP of these things, where, you know, right now... I'm always like terrified playing mid-tier tanks sometimes just because you can roll out, you can die in like 5-10 seconds. So, you know, tanks like this to where down the road when they buff the HP, honestly mid-tier battles are going to be so much more enjoyable. Uh, just from the sole fact that the time to kill is going to increase dramatically. Which even against tier 4 Matildas here, I'm kind of scared because uh, their guns fire pretty darn quick. I feel a little bad shooting premium at him, but whatever. <laughs> it is what it is. I'm gonna get owned here by tier four tanks. Uh, but in any event, you know, I'm pretty excited because you know, with them buffing the HP, we're looking to buff the HP. You know, of tier one through six, it's gonna make the gameplay a little bit similar to higher tier battles, to where. Honestly, someone like myself to where, you know, I take tank requests on my live stream, but, you know, I'll, I'll still play mid-tiers, but a lot of times you'll see, 
you know, it, it's just such a different game to where if you change it to where there's an extra like 10 seconds of you staying alive versus like another tank of your tier, it's probably one of the bigger ch changes the world of tanks and I'm pretty excited because it's going to make mid-tier battles fun. Come on. It's like a game of cat and mouse here. Unfortunately, our team's not doing very good. You know, I'm on it, so I'm part of the problem too. But uh, I don't know where this guy went. Here he is. Come on, Wargaming. Throw me some good RNG here. I'm making a video. <laughs> oh my god, I'm such a bad aim. But fortunately, this tank, it's accurate. Like I said, it's really easy to play. You know, you got decent gun depression. You got okay mobility. The gun on it, there's nothing to complain about the gun. You know, it hits decent for its tier. It's accurate. You know, there's not too much to hate about this. And honestly, I'll give them credit to where, you know, even when I first saw, like, you know, it's got more DPM than the M10 Wolverine, I was like, oh, crap. <laughs> They're going to release a better M10 Wolverine you know, for the marathon tank, and we're just going to have to suck it up, which crap, come on, forward, oh, I just missed, that's a really big miss too, ah, crap, <laughs> really, really bad here, and I got derped by the answer, I was so focused on the cap, <sighs> well, I failed, <laughs> hopefully you guys enjoyed my misery here, in any event though, even with the eh, battle, you know, 1200 damage this thing since it's a mid-tier TD you just chew things apart and since it has the turret as well it's it's pretty darn good like the t67 kind of overshadows it but this is still up there as far as one of the easier like enjoyable mid-tier tanks to play just because it's got that turret it's a tank to shore there's not too much to hate up or hate on about it except for if you want a ton of armor or you want a ton of HP or mobility but in any event you know a kind of a crappy battle here even though I got the most amount of damage on my team and second in the match um, hopefully everyone enjoys this marathon because you know like going over it again like it starts you know the 24th um, at 10 a.m. at least on the NA server it's it's pretty easy like honestly they're kind of giving this away to where you know the only way you're not going to be able to complete this since from my understanding like I don't think I'm wrong but I could be wrong you know even if you start like halfway through you're still going to be able to complete the previous days even if you miss them unlike the I think it was the t34 shield it the where you had to complete them basically daily or else you're screwed um you know this is kind of a nice little thing to where is a free tank in a way and a bunch of other bonuses to go along with it and you know the tank balance wise you know it's not any better or worse than the m10 wolverine it's kind of a wash having the more firepower but less mobility so you can't really knock on it there uh, plus you know the unique style did i even put it on here i don't even think i put the unique style on if i'm not mistaken or maybe I didn't get the unique style. I completely forget. <laughs> Apparently there's a unique style uh, from what the marathon said, but I'm guessing it's on here already. Um, but in any event, uh, thank you very much for watching this, guys. I'm sorry, I'm like kind of all over the place since I haven't exactly had a ton of time with this tank. But in any event, thanks again for watching. Hopefully you enjoy the marathon. If you're curious about the tank, you know, it's worth getting it for as easy as it is. Even if it was a little bit more of a grind, it's still worth getting it because it, honestly, it's a solid mid-tier tank. And with them looking to revamp low and mid-tiers, it's going to be a fun tank to play after that change as well. So have a good one, guys. I'll see you around. Thanks for watching this. Um, hopefully I'll see you on one of my streams and also YouTube videos here. Have a good one.